Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's autograph video number 53. Now kind of continuing the theme of last week where we looked at how we can create worksheets from autograph, today I'm going to just show you a nice way where you can create number lines on autograph because autograph isn't just good for drawing straight lines and quadratic curves and all that, it can do transformations, it can do geometry, it can do statistics, but it can also be used for simple place value and negative numbers and adding and subtracting work. So let's get ourselves a number line. So I've just cracked open autograph in standard mode, not touched a single thing here, everything's looking as it normally does on set up. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, get rid of that key, so hover down the bottom, right click, show key, disappeared. Now to get a number line, what I don't ideally want is this Y axis. So I am going to go on to Edit Axes and I'm going to go on to Options and I'm going to go for that one, Hide, and it's the vertical axis, the Y axis. Click OK. Sorry, email coming through there. And there we get something that's kind of half resembling a number line. However, the next thing I'm going to want to do is ideally get rid of that X and sort these numbers out. So let's do it all at once. Let's click Edit Axes. Let's go to Labels. Let's get rid of the label of X because it's not really an axis anymore. And for Ranges, let's sort these numbers out. Now, I want my X numbers to appear every one, please. And I'm also going to take that tick off the pips just so I keep control over that. So let's have a look what's going on there. Click OK. And there we have something that's looking a little bit more like a number line now. However, on a number line, it depends whether you want these minor grid lines in or not. Now they might be useful for demonstrating steps, but you probably wouldn't really want them. So let's have a look at a nice way of getting rid of those. Go to edit axes again, and it's a similar technique to how we hid the numbers last week. I'm gonna to go to appearance, and this time on my grid, I'm gonna change it from this kind of gray color I'm going to change it to a white color and click OK. And there we have a nice looking number line. Now, what I particularly like about this number line is that it's completely flexible. You can have the numbers going up in any steps that you want. You can have as many little uh, um, intervals in between. And best of all, you can just, using the hand tool, you can drag along any way you like on this number line. So I'll just show you a couple of ideas that, that you might want to use in lessons. So first thing is if I go to edit axes again, I'm going to change my X numbers so they go up in every four and click OK. And now if I was teaching kind of younger students uh, um, about kind of place value and sequences and, and scales and all that kind of thing. I could now get my little scribble tool and I could draw a little scribble around that and say to students, okay, can anybody tell me what number that must be? And they can use the fact that it goes up in steps of four and all that kind of stuff to figure it out. And once they've got their head around that, just drag along to another place and give them another challenge. And you can do that with, with any interval. So if I just go for edit and I'm just gonna hit undo a couple of times just so I get back to where I started, there we go. Let's change it up a little bit more. So I'm gonna to go to edit axes, and I am going to this time, get my X axes to go up in 0.2s, okay? And click okay. Now this time I've got a very kind of tiny scale. If I take off my equal aspect mode, I now get a little bit more freedom to change my X values, because at the moment they're tied to my Y values, but there's no benefit to equal aspect mode when I haven't got a Y axis. So now with that, if I go for a much smaller range, so this time I'm gonna go from X just from three up to five, say for example, click okay. And if I just drag a little bit along there. Now I can start to talk to students about decimals. So, okay, can they now identify what number that must be? And once they've got their head around that, I can drag along to wherever I want. And of course, there's absolutely nothing stopping me going into the negatives if I just drag along. So now what about between minus one and minus two? What's that? Point going to be. And again, it just unearths all those misconceptions. And you can go into the thousands, you can have things going up in tens of thousands, you can have things going um, up in intervals of 0 0.5, 2.6, wh whatever you want. It's a very flexible number line, and I think it turns out to be quite a useful uh, learning tool. If you're thinking to yourself, well, wait a minute, that, those numbers are a bit small and that, that line's a bit skinny, well, that's not a problem. Just go to axes numbers, pump them up to whatever you want, get as thick a line as you like. Let's see if that looks any better. Now we've got a nice thick number line. So there you go. A nice flexible way that you might want to use Autograph to create some number lines. And of course, if you go to edit, sorry, if you go to page and copy page, you can then paste that wherever you like. So you can create some nice worksheets as well if you want. So that's uh, how you might want to use Autograph for number lines. I hope that was useful and I'll be back with a fresh video next week. Bye for now.